In this question, we are told that we can assume that the stretching of the hose obeys Hooke's law with a particular spring constant. So that means that in order to calculate the work done, we can use the equation for the work done by a spring. Now we need three pieces of information to do that. We need a spring constant k, and that was given to us in the question as 100 newtons per meter. We also need an initial position of our object. So what we have done is we've drawn the balloon stretched backwards by five meters, and we're calling this location kind of like our reference location where the spring is in a relaxed state. We've identified that as being an x value of zero meters because the spring, again, would be relaxed at that point. And therefore, if we pull the balloon backwards, by five meters, then the initial position would be technically negative five meters. So we will say x initial is equal to negative five meters. And then we release the balloon so that it returns to this sort of reference point, this equilibrium position. And again, that has an x coordinate of zero meters. So we would say x final is equal to zero meters. And once we have these three pieces of information, we can simply plug into this equation to calculate the work done. So let's go ahead and do that. So we've plugged in the known values. Notice again that the initial positions are squared. I should say the initial and the final positions are both squared. So we can punch this into our calculator and when we do so we should get a work done by this spring or this stretched hose of 1250 joules. So this would be the correct answer to the question.